Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be working some more on our storage system in Applied Energistics 2. And if I didn't say yet, welcome and good morning to Morning Modded Minecraft, Episode 7. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into the video. So today I'd like to work on a few things. I might have a card in the left, uh, the left hand side of the screen saying what I'd like to get done today. But if I don't, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I really want to work on our storage system more. And as you can see, I've cleared out this area a little bit more. We no longer have those golden chests because I've found a great alternative. And that is the storage drawers mod. And you can do a lot with this guy, and uh, I'm going to do a lot with it. But first, we need a drawer controller. So now, what we need to do is just go ahead, mine out an area, something like this. There we go. Mm. Alright, that's all the drawers. However, I just actually laid that out terribly. I'm going to have to replace those, but the storage system is sort of finished for now. So this is going to be good enough. Now what we need is one um, storage bus. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Annihilation cores. Alright, so now we have all of that that we need at least I'm going to go ahead and put these processors back where they belong in this chest here and I need to put away the fluix dust that I gave uh, that I got out of the chest okay wait I made more formation cores than annihilate how did that happen gosh dang it whatever Alright, ME interface. Great. And now I can make this straight off the bat. And we have an ME storage bus and our storage system is complete. Uh, but we have one more step to take and that's to make the terminal so that we can actually access it. So, ME ter. Okay, ME terminal. That's pretty easy to make, if I do remember correctly. Uh, we're going to need a lot of these logic processors. As you can see, we've almost used up all of them. So, illuminated panel. Cablano. Yep. Cool. Okay. Now I can make one of those. Next step is Emmy crafting terminal which isn't much harder we just need a calculation processor and a crafting table so crafting table I can make right off the bat let's go ahead store that in there uh, maybe put our formation core not our formation cores put our logic processors back in here and take a calculation processor I made a bunch of these guys off camera I did finish the automation in that system for uh, for us to do but yeah da, da, da. storage we can put stuff in here and take it out at our own leisure uh, we might want to move around where this interface is but for now this is our storage system and it should work uh, now one other thing that I wanted to do and also I believe I made something for it. I wanted to get the upgrade. Uh, upgrade that. Uh, this upgrade template. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But let's see how many of these we can get. Wow, quite a few exactly three stacks nice so uh you these 
are very useful for upgrading the storage in your drawers because they increase the uh, quant the amount of stacks by three. No, five. It multiplies the quantity of stacks that each of these can hold by five, and they each hold eight by default, each slot. So they have four slots each, so they hold uh, 32 total. And when you upgrade these, we are putting in five storage upgrades into each of them, and so that's really giving them a big boost. That's 32 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, I believe. So, it it's a pretty large upgrade. Oops! Well, I don't particularly need that dirt too bad, but I suppose it would be useful to have. Okay, so the first 10 minutes of the episode have been spent making this storage system, which kind of stinks, but... Uh, any boring parts in there I can, of course, as I usually do, cut out. Ah! No, do not fall to the ground. Um, so what's next for the world? I really want to build a village over here, but I don't know exactly how I'm going to go about it. I'm going to keep this as, uh, sort of like a station for having the... this. But... We do need to go to the end, and we have 10 minutes left on the video, which means we probably can't do that, which stinks. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? As you may notice, the side card in the beginning of the episode, if I ended up being able to do that, which I don't know that I did, considering that is in the future, uh, it probably said the plan for the episode. But I don't know the plan for the episode, because I made that in the future. Man, future self is so cool. Anyway, I'm going to pause recording now and see what we can get to doing. Alright guys, so I've decided that I'd like to go find the stronghold, actually. Where we're going to be fighting the Ender Dragon. Uh, but that that's about all I really want to do. With that, uh, until next episode, of course, when I suppose we'll go to the end. And once we're in the end and we kill the Ender Dragon, I have some great ideas. And it's going to be really cool, and I think you're going to like them. Alright, so let's start off the adventure. So I'm probably going to speed up a large portion of this. Because it takes a while to find a stronghold, usually. Okay, let's see. Where is it supposed to be? It's probably going to be in the staircase, is what it says. Yep, staircase. Alright, well, I'll explore a bit more and see if I can find where uh, a real one is. That That's kind of disappointing. But I'll just go in this direction for a while and see if there's another one. And if there's not, we might have to cheat to bring one into existence. I really don't want to do that, but it might be one of our only options. If, if it just spawned that one and said, what? There's a portal right here. That's actually happened to me before. It said that a staircase was a portal. And it made me very angry, because it wasn't that it misdirected where the portal was. There just wasn't a portal. It, it was, uh, it was sketchy. It was very sketch, yo, as the young kids say. Ah, all right, so I'm going to fly off into the sunset, and if I find anything of interest uh, in my travels, then I will update you. All right. All right, everyone, so I found this strong, not stronghold, um, desert temple, and it had a staff of traveling in it, which is very convenient. Uh, that saves me from having to actually craft this guy, but uh, it's not that big of a deal, so I'm going to hit 
to go ahead and continue what I'm doing, and I'll update you if I find a stronghold. Hey guys, I found one of these totally legitimately and stuff. Actually, no, I just I put it together and filled in the things with um, Eyes of Ender. The, uh, you didn't see after we came down here and were utter utterly disappointed because I cut that out, but I did actually search for one of these for quite a while, and every no matter how far away I went, it kept on pointing me back to this stronghold, which is not where I wanted to go because it doesn't have the portal. Holy crap, it has a portal. Are you kidding? Seriously? What the heck? All right then. That in this completely separate part of the stronghold that you can't even access from over here, by the way. What? Well, I guess I'll destroy this. Uh, and then do it again over there. Gosh, dang it. That's stupid. That is really stupid. All right. I, I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, guys. I think I'd like to enter the end. It, it might be fun. Who knows? Uh, but we don't seem to be out of time for this episode, so why not? Uh, hopefully this fight takes less than 10 minutes. Come on. I made a power to, uh, bronze reinforced bow. So, hopefully that should kill it pretty well. Let's see. Boom. Let's see. Are there any more over here? There's these three. And I think that's it. Where'd it go? I made it power two because I made an enchantment table earlier because I thought this episode was taking a different course. After we kill this, it's gonna have to be the end of the episode, sadly, because I have bigger plans for next episode. Come on. Ah, it's kind of overpowered being able to fly during the Ender Dragon fight, but you know, whatever. I'm gonna try and get a method of storing all the XP we're gonna get from this. Maybe an XP obelisk from Ender IO. Ugh. I made three stacks of arrows for this. Come on, get over here. I am chasing down an Ender Dragon and attacking it. That's pretty awesome. Ugh. Nice, we killed it. And I'm going to end off the video in a moment after I talk about a few things. Woo! Why did I do that? Well, dang it. But, we did kill it. I'm going to head back real quick so we can grab our XP and then I'll end the episode. Whoop. 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 That's what the Staff of Traveling does, if you didn't know. Uh, I don't actually know if I ended up including the clip of me 
using the staff of traveling. Oh, what? Where am I? Dang it. I am somewhere I do not want to be. Hmm. Well, hmm. Wait, nope. I know exactly where I am. In the end. Next episode, we're going to build an ender farm here. Uh, just a really basic one so that we can get unlimited XP and ender pearls in the overworld. Because I, I have a plan for that also. I'd also like to work on these miniature yellow heart things. Because I know you can do some pretty interesting stuff with that. Um, we're probably... We're going to build the ender farm somewhere out here, really far away. I don't understand why there are so many clouds in the end. It makes no sense. But yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to end off the episode here. I believe it's a bit of a shorter one. <laughs> Immediately after saying I was going to make the episodes 20 minutes long last episode. But, uh, such is life. Anyway... Thanks a ton for watching, I really hope you enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye